Hi, Captain Steve for BoatTest.com, and today I'm in Vestavik, Sweden, headquarters of Windy Boats, and I'm going to take a look at the SR44SX. This is a luxury day boat, an overnighter, plus it can also be used as a yacht tender, really fully featured. This time we're going to be testing it with triple Yamaha outboards. We'll start back here with the sun pad that's aft facing, there's a seat back adding to the comfort level. Eight feet, two inches across. We can move this seat back into multiple positions, 32 of them in fact, so it can go all the way forward, all the way back, anywhere in between. Here, it's making a seat back for the U-shaped seating, wrapping around a pedestal table that is expandable. And notice in the closed position, we have beverage holders. This is also on a high-low pedestal, so we can drop it down, make it into another sun pad. Move the aft seat back further aft, and now we've got a massive sun pad, nine feet by eight feet, two inches. So two massive sun pads, 32 positions to the seat back, an electrically actuated high-low table. Just in this section, we're already seeing how Winnie takes everything to the next level. Coming just ahead, the amenities continue with an electric grill, Stainless steel sink recessed into a Corian counter. Now we can also get two electric grills or a grill and a griddle, two griddles. Point being, there's an option for one or two components here. There's also a cutoff switch to shut the electricity off once the hatch is closed. And notice that the hatch is finished on the underside, held open by gas assist struts. We can also lock it down so that as we're going through waves, we won't have that bouncing. There's a convenient rail right along the back side of it. And then underneath, storage, trash receptacle, refrigerator, and in this side, ice maker and more storage. We can also get a wine chiller here. Just behind, 20 inches of space, and I really like how this has an elevated bolster so that we can lean up against it, both while we're underway and working at the grill. Now, above, all this is protected by the hardtop. It's carbon fiber and reinforced. There are fusion speakers, LED lights, skylights. There's also an extendable awning from the trailing edge of the hardtop. Now, if you didn't want to go with this automatic version of the awning, there's a manual one that can be attached to the trailing edge and supported by stanchions, both port and starboard. And take a look on top. There's a board rack, and while it's marine grade, it's also transferable to your car. Always thinking with clever solutions at Windy. So the side bulwarks, flip out stairs. There are lights that activate when the stairs are deployed. There's a teak cap rail that's on a hinge underneath that. Water fill and fuel fill, and this is all repeated to the opposite side. Now these steps to each side are two of the five boarding points on this boat. Two here, the swim platform, an optional passerelle that can be extended from the stern, and bow in boarding. These bulwarks start at 22 inches high and then at midships come up to 28 inches. Rails are recessed onto the inside of them. And now moving forward, there's a nine inch step leading to the side deck, grab handle, grab handle, the width starts at 16 inches between the side and the rails and it expands up to 22 inches as we make our way forward. There's a sun pad on top of the trunk cabin, five feet, seven inches by seven feet. Nice headrests. Beverage holders are integrated into the headrests and they are draining. There's an option for getting headrests that also lift into Shay's lounge positions. Now more importantly is if you look underneath, you'll see that the cushions are all self-draining, so we're not gonna be sitting on a wet pad. Let's talk about storage. Now, naturally, there's the usual storage compartments underneath the seats here, but Wendy takes things to the next level. Take a look at this, starting at this index storage compartment. This compartment is self-draining. It's 39 inches by 16 inches, 11 inches deep. 
There are grates at the bottom that will hold dividers if we want, and we can also get an option for making this refrigerated or freezing. Now, of course, this is repeated to the opposite side, but we're just getting warmed up in the storage department. Take a look at this. Right next to the sun pad, here's a storage compartment that goes six feet, seven inches deep. Great for fishing rods, gaffs, boat hooks, things like that. But we only have this available if we don't choose the passerelle option. Now this boat's also available in an inboard version. Because we have the outboard version, we now have a garage. Love that that hatch opens up so quickly. We've got storage to the side, as you can see, big enough to hold all of the covers for the boat. Whole platform in here that's ideal for storage, but it gets even better. Plenty of room inside this compartment. Generator start battery ahead, the house batteries, fixed firefighting system, one, two, three engine start batteries. The battery switches to the stern. Of course, we've got a 9KW generator just ahead. And there's also room for a gyro that would go right in the middle here. The deck is reinforced to accommodate it. Now we're headed to port. There's a hot water heater. And then you can notice the breaker panel over there. There's also a quick access to that from the deck. Now let's check out the overnight capability down below. Roomy cabin, six feet, six inches of overhead clearance. Galley is over to the port hand side. Plenty of storage to the back of the Corian counter. Stainless steel sink, refrigeration just underneath, plus additional storage. There's a cutting board and a cover for the sink, both having dedicated storage underneath the sink. Forward, there's a V berth, six feet, seven inches, fore and aft. There are hull side windows to both sides and another one forward. And notice that when we look out the sides, we can see all the way out to the water because of the windows in the bulwarks. There's a seat to the port hand side, storage cubbies to both sides, shelf storage, and a hanging locker. To this bulkhead, there's room for a 32 inch flat screen TV and there's more storage underneath. There's also a fusion stereo system down here. All of this forward area can be closed off for privacy by dropping down a divider. So the starboard side is the head, opening port light for ventilation, sink recessed into the Corian counter, storage underneath, electric flush toilet, mirror, and a separate shower. And notice that the shower has a shower wand and a rainfall with LED lights. The mid cabin features twin berths, 78 by 31 inches each. They're separated by 14 inches and there's 32 inches over the berth. There's storage to both sides, plenty of light and a storage cubby in between that has connectivity. There's a skylight overhead allowing natural light to come in. And there's also an option for putting an opening window here. Now let's talk about fit and finish. Notice there's diamond pattern stitching to the padded bulkhead. Our boat has the dark oak option. There's also a light oak available and the decking is S-Tech. Now let's move to operations, starting with the power panel right down in the cabin. Has master controls up on top, breaker panels, tank monitor, and the generator control. The ground tackle is another area where Windy keeps everything clean and elegant. Got a nice profile with no outcroppings and sharp edges sticking out that we usually find with anchors, but we open up the hatch and the anchor is concealed underneath. The way it works is with two remote controls, one for the anchor and one for the anchor arm. The anchor arm, well, yeah, take a look. Now we've got a polished anchor with a swivel, all chain road, ready to deploy and take a look at this. If I unlock this, now I can close the hatch, have this opened up and there's a ball and socket so this stays in position instead of flapping in the breeze. Very elegant work. Now notice this whole space here is reserved for the anchor assembly. The windlass itself is just underneath the deck hatch. And to the port side there's a freshwater washdown connection. Nine inch cleats are pull up and there are three to each side. Power is supplied by the triple Yamaha 425 horsepower 5.6 liter V8 engines. These are the XTO offshore packages. There's a frame going across and to the sides with a tow pylon on top. 
23 inches of platform space allows us to walk back and forth across the front of the engines. There's also a flip up panel to that that allows us to tilt the engines out of the water. A safety alert is displayed at the helm to warn the operator should an attempt be made to tilt the engines with the platform section still lowered. To the port side, there's a reboarding ladder. Notice how the center engine is mounted lower to accommodate the deep V to the hull. At the 25 inch wide walk through to the cockpit, there's a fresh water shower, as well as a fresh water wash down and a single point flush out for all three engines. Now taking a look at the helm, complete no glare panel, soft touch at the top. 17 inch display is standard, we can go up to three displays on this panel. There's a small cubby just underneath the displays with a little rail to hold our cell phones, things like that. Over to the left hand side, electrical switches, VHF, steering wheel is mounted to a tilt base. We've got the joystick and the autopilot controlling the Yamaha engines, bow thruster, Humphrey interceptor trim tabs, and a fusion stereo. Beverage holders to both port and starboard are self-draining. Now let's take a look at these helm seats. Triple individual bucket seats. There are armrests in between the seats. They've got flip down bolsters. And in the armrests, there are also beverage holders, larger ones and still self-training. There's a half windshield ahead. We can get windshield all the way up to the hard top or we can fill this whole area with isinglass. We can also enclose the sides with isinglass for three season boating. These screens are also tied into the vessel's electrical bus system so that we have digital switching for everything on board, including tank monitoring, and all of this can be brought up on your cell phone or tablet. Now let's talk about some of the exterior features. First of all, vinyl ester resin infused with a Divinicel foam core. Plum bow, notice how it comes back creates a chine as we move back, but we've also got a molded spray rail right here that gives us a nice dry ride. Additionally, take a look at these rub rails. Look at how thick that is. That's what makes this boat an ideal yacht tender. The Windy SR44SX has a length overall of 47.44 feet and a beam of 12.99 feet. She has an empty weight of 22,266 pounds and with 50% fuel and three people on board, we estimated our test weight to be at 24,139 pounds. With the triple Yamaha 425s wound up to 5,900 RPM, our speed topped out at 51 knots. Best cruise came in at 3,500 RPM and 25 knots. That speed, the 34.9 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 0.7 nautical miles per gallon and a range of 272 nautical miles. All while holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 422.68 gallon total fuel capacity. With the throttles pinned, we accelerated briskly and got up on plane in four seconds flat. Reducing the throttle showed her able to stay on plane right on down to 15.4 knots. Continuing to accelerate though, showed us passing 20 miles per hour in 5.9 seconds, 30 in 9.7 and 40 miles per hour in 13.9 seconds. Well, this is the second time we've tested this boat and still no adverse handling characteristics whatsoever. She gives a remarkably dry ride. All the cranking and banking that I did and the windblown chop, nothing on the windshield, not a drop. So those spray reels really do an excellent job. She turns with authority, leans into the turn so that everybody doesn't go sliding to one side, even if you do put it into a power turn, which I don't know why you would do that unless you're putting it through a test. No ventilation from the props whatsoever. And she just handled great through all of the parameters. Probably the only thing wrong with this test is it's 40 degrees in Sweden, but I can't fault the boat for that. Other than that, it was excellent. And that's my full features inspection and performance evaluation of the SR44SX from Windy. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.